Hello everyone and welcome back to my world. I was using my purse today, as one does, and I realized it really needs to be cleaned out. And then I also realized what's in my bag videos are somewhat compelling. So I just decided to whip one up for you. I have my bag here. It is my trusty, trusty Madewell mini transport tote in brown. Uh, it has a nice over the shoulder strap. I do wish there was maybe a couple more holes on this notchy notchy here. Um, but it's great. I, these handles, these handles are wonderful. Um, this bag is super sturdy. I really, really need to get it clean though. I've used it pretty much every day since I bought it last March. And there's stains. It lasted me a whole summer in DC of sweatiness and grossness. Um, it's honestly the most trusty bag and it looks better with wear unless it is stained. So I'm just gonna dive in and start pulling stuff out. Oh my gosh. Uh, first, wow, a little bit, a little bitty book. This is The Beauty Myth by Naomi Wolf. I bought two of these little books um, at the Tate Modern. Uh, I also bought The Vindication of the Rights of Women. Great little reads. For some reason, books and bookstores in England are just so much better. I always have a hard time not buying everything. I had this in my purse because I've had these annoying appointments. I actually didn't read it on my appointment. I watched some Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but that's okay. Points for trying. Here we have my trusty key sunglasses. The case is kind of falling apart. Um, these are High Key Gold by Desi Perkins. Um, funny part about these is usually when people post them and have pictures, it looks like they, uh, you know, are like super oversized. But for me, my large noggin, it looks about, it looks about right. Uh, toss these around. This is actually my second pair of these. I lost the first one and I was sad, so I bought another one. Okay, sunglasses, always have them with me for obvious reasons. Candy wrapper, great. Here is what I have with my wallet. It's actually my mini purse. It goes around, it's honestly the best thing ever to have. But I just, when I'm not wearing it and I have my bigger purse, I just use it as the wallet. It has some card holders, room for your phone, room for lip gloss, room for everything. Room for loonies. I have some classic $10 bill. I have a couple of things left over from my trip, like the ticket for the cruise we took on the Seine in Paris. And then this is one of our train tickets to get to that called the Midwife Tour in Chatham. So that was super fun. It really was. I also have some, what I attempted to dry some flowers from our tea that we had, because everything, it was the Chelsea Flower Show high tea. And the, f the flowers were all over the desserts. I wanted to save them, but they're just kind of crumbs at this point. Uh, I have my classic Kiss Me Cherie Lancome Juicy Shaker Matte. I love this. I did buy this for my trip, because I wanted a nice red lip. Um, it kind of it kind of didn't work when I first got it. Luckily, I got it work. I had to poke like some holes down at the bottom because the product wasn't coming out. Um, I have classically. I have just you always find straight pills around my bags. That's just me. That is me to a T. Okay, I have a great little banana purse. I got this at Kath Kidston. Um, it's a banana, as you can see, but inside is a reusable bag. Uh, I had this at church on Sunday and my little friend who's two was obsessed with it. Honestly, the best kid's toy. Who would, who would have thought? Big ol' hand sanitizer. Free Google one I got at school. Uh, I usually keep this in my car. Should probably put that back. Headphones. Boring. Prescription I need to uh, bring in. Um, this is from my doctor's appointment today. Super exciting. Oh, um, my car insurance card. I need to put in my car. Isn't this just so exciting? Cards that fell out of my wallet. 
Are you guys just having so much fun? These are the best pens. This is a Pentel Energel. My friend got me hooked on them years ago. This is a classic black, wonderful, fell apart, put it back together. And honestly, I had so much stuff going on in my purse that the pen fell apart inside of the purse. Like, is it really that dramatic down there? A comb, I, my part must have been giving me trouble one day because I usually don't care about a comb. Um, I only use it for my parts. My doll, complete. Just finished up the old period, so I had that in hand. Lifesaver. Along with that is, oh my gosh, taboo tampons. Wow, we're just having so much fun. Half eaten granola bar. Um, this is the Vega kind you can get at Costco. Dark, I only like the dark chocolate mixed nut and sea salt one that comes in the pack. Um, what? Okay. This is a deteriorated lotion container, but this is my favorite scent from, oh wow, it is really bad. It is my favorite scent from Anthropology. It's called Lalia. It's the brand, I'm pretty sure. This is Wish. I got it in the perfume. There's honestly nothing like it. I really need to throw this away now. It is destroyed completely. Another pen. These are the classic, why do I say everything is classic? It's not that classic. Uh, these are the seven year pens. They're supposed to last for seven years. I just like their design. They're sleek. This is from Washington DC. No kidding, I got it at Paper Source. There, it has a little cherry blossom on it. Wow, I'm just deciding what thrilling items to look at next. Other things that fell out of my um, wallet, like the uh, Calgary Temple um, schedule. I gotta put the back of my wallet. Okay, I'm just getting everything else and I can actually show you how many lip products I have in here. These are the mints. These are the culprits of my disaster yesterday. I'm talking about I had these appointments today. I had to go do this fasting test to test some stomach bacteria, blah, blah, blah. Can't have anything for four hours before. I had everything done. I was on my way to the appointment. I popped in a couple minutes. Couldn't take my test. I had to go back today. Ugh, just don't have my life, okay? This is the Compede Gel. I bought this last time I was in England, so it's like four years old. It's super, like, kind of dodgy now. But I couldn't find any there when I bought it. It's just this little stick and you rub it on parts of your feet that are um, hurting from shoes. It's kind of like targeted blister control. It's, I, I like it a lot. Um, now how much of this is just trash? You know what I'm saying? Okay, I think it's time for lip stuff. We're gonna have the grand total of how many. See, we already had the one that was in my wallet, right? So that's one. Oh my gosh, I don't think they're gonna fit in one hand. The thing is, lip stuff is I grab one because I have a different look every day, and then I put it in my purse to touch up. I never touch up, and so then it just all collects. Okay, if I grab that one from my wallet. <laughs> oh my gosh, where do we begin? Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve products. Um. We have two, I have doubles. Oh my gosh. Eight out of the 12 are the same product, just in different colors. You can tell which stuff I like. Got my other Juicy Shaker in Mango's Wild, my trusty. So we got two Lancome. We have two of the Benefit, the Real, the Real double the lip. And I have this in Flame Game and Lusty Rose, which is kind of my classic. Mavi, and these are the lip products. They have um, two-tone color. The top part is a little bit darker than the rest, and so it kind of like acts as a lip liner. But I just kind of acted as a mixed, a mixed color. So I have orange and a dusty pink, so not exactly the same. These two I wore together on Sunday. These are the Sephora creamy lip stains in 07 and 12. So I didn't. I always seem to mix my colors. I think it's fun. Okay, NYX Butter Glosses. This this one is my number one fave in Angel Food Cake. Again, because I always go for mauve colors, this is the best one. And then I also have been trying Vanilla Cream Pie today. Nice little fun pink, summery pink. And then I have some Burt's Bees. I just bought this new one because I have finished two Burt's Bees that I bought at the same time. They haven't been lost. 
They haven't been destroyed. I finished them and I'm really proud. So I had to go buy a new one. And this is in rose, I'm pretty sure. You see I got a color theme going on. This is a Marc Jacobs lipstick that I got as a birthday gift from Sephora. This is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Seriously, it's my color. Every time I wear it, I get compliments. Not every time, but a lot of the time. And then I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat, the lip liner. Um, it's a great color as well. It's super fun to wear with the, just the lip gloss. Um, the NYX classic. So yes, the bulk of my purse is lip products, but that is not that is as to be expected. Okay, now we're getting down to crumbs and money. Like random change you have. Let's see how many countries I have. Okay, I have two Canadian nickels and then this is a year one euro. Um I have this is a cute little hand mirror. I have a hand mirror collection. This one I bought at the Victoria and Albert Museum. It's a uh, I'm forgetting his name, William. He's a famous textile designer from like the 1800s. It's a little mirror in one of his patterns. So I pop that, there's two little pockets in here and the only downside of this purse is there's not a zipper pocket. So I always kind of tuck this in cause I'm always doing my lipstick. We have, also getting down to the garbage, empty Listerine, great. When I, if I try not to chew gum, then I have those. I have my fun, one of my little bobby pins big and dramatic in the cool tones, the cool neutral metals. Oh, why did I volunteer to do this? This was a hair and gum wrappers. Another one of these chocolates, that was from church. Um, high chew grape, wonderful. A bottle of pills, that is also on brand for me. Um, another one of these bobby pins. <laughs> This is a piece of my sunglass case I said was, oh, and I was just like sand and, okay, we have loonies, we have quarters, we have a two euro coin, we have an old piece of gum, pills, the lid to that lotion that needs to go in the garbage. Oh, um, and then we have euros and one penny, but um, British penny. And then I have to show you my all-time favorite coin is the one penny euro because it's tiny. It's so cute. It's so cute. Oh, there's one. Now we're down to the grit, the last grit and grime, coins and wrappers. Co a piece of Oreo. Um, I'm healthy, I promise. A bobby pin and a little tiny euro coin, which I think I'll keep for good luck. Oh, okay. The rest we have is crumbs. So, there you have it. It's the most utmost thrilling of videos. But it's really, people do this to show off their purses. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I know my uh, little sack is worth every moment spent talking about it because it's the best bag. Um, brown is great because it goes with everything. Um, I use my other purses if I wanna go for more sleek look like I have a black purse that I would use. This is kind of like my rugged all-American bag. Um, if I were to pan down for you on this, <laughs> voila. Here is, oh that's the charger because the camera keeps dying. I really need to charge it better. Um, so that fits all in my purse. Um, I'm going to throw some stuff away now. So, I still see you in the corner, cord. Okay, go out, go forth, and clean out your purses as I have done, if you feel so inclined. Um, like if you can't fit one more thing in it. Oh, that reminds me, this bag fits a ton of stuff in it, in case you haven't realized. It fits a full-size water bottle, um, so it's great for traveling, you can carry water around. It fits a jacket, it fits, I mean, it speaks for itself. Am I right? Okay. I'll talk to you later. Uh, my camera is seriously going to die. So I will catch you guys in another video. Bye.